Welcome to another On Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you one of the coolest effects in Adobe Flash, which is doing a page flip. You might have seen this in iPods and other expensive gadgets that rich people buy. Well, if you're ready to make one on your website, then you've come to the right place. This is a really awesome item that you can add to your your web page, which is it could be static, but with this little 3D flip, they'll think that you know what you're doing whatever you're doing so let let me show you how to create it the first thing you want to do is open up a new blank flash document add three layers the first layer is action script 3 the second layer is content and the last layer is background and in the background I just put a regular image nothing special so I'm just gonna lock that layer and also I can lock the action script 3 layer right now what we're gonna be dealing with is just the content or the pages that you see flipping around so let's do that. Pressing R to activate my rectangle tool, I'm just going to draw a simple rectangle on the stage. Now I'm not going to be filling it up with any content, but what I'm going to do is just select it and press F8 and turn it into a movie clip. I'm going to name it Side B or Side A rather. And the registration point, I want it to be at the top. And I'm going to press OK. Now I have one side and what I'm going to do with this movie clip still selected, I'm going to go over to the properties and give it an instance name of side A. Back on stage, I'm going to double click on the side A movie clip I just created and now I'm inside of it in edit mode and I'm going to go back inside of my library. I already created a button which I call flip. So I'm just going to drag that button any old where. And with the button still selected, I'm going to go inside my properties and give it an instance name of flip. With that instance name, now I can exit out of edit mode. But I'm going to head over to the library again. And what I'm going to do is just recreate that same side A and change a few things. Because essentially, they're both going to be the same thing, meaning both the pages are going to be the same. So I'm just going to right click and then go to duplicate. And once I click on duplicate, it'll show me, okay, duplicate symbol, what do you want to name it? I'm just going to name it side B and of course a movie clip. And I'm going to double click inside of my library on side B. And the only thing I'm going to change is the color from purple to, I don't know, orange. I like orange. So now I can escape from it. I'm still in my library and I'm just going to drag out that side B onto the stage. With my side B onto the stage, with it still selected, back into the properties and naming it side B. Now I have side A and side B on my stage. The last thing that I have to do is align them. So I'm just going to select them both and center them up with my align tool and right click on your side B because it's on top and it needs to be on the bottom so you right click and go to arrange and bring to back or send to back and there we go we have everything we need it's all set up but we need to put these two pages inside of a container so we're gonna select those two items again and we're gonna hit F8 but this time we're gonna make a container and we're gonna put the registration in the center this is very important for this to work and I'm going to name this CON, con, short for container. And there we go, we have the container. And with the container still selected, making sure you go to the properties, giving, giving it an instance name of con. Now we're ready to go into our action script. Everything is set up. Now if you wanted to, you can go to side A and side B and give it better content than just a colored background. So let's go into action script 3. For the action script, there's not a lot of crazy things going on. It's not a lot of code. The first thing that we need to do is we need to import those tween classes. The tween classes are what gives us the ability to create that smooth motion of turning around without creating um, animation on the timeline. This is all done by code. So what we do is import all these classes, the tween from the transitions, uh, ease.strong, uh, tween event. 
And now we're going to add a few event listeners. From the container, side A, remember the button flip that we created? Well, I'm adding a mouse click to it. And I'm doing the same thing on the other side, which is side B. And we're going to use an on flip function. The last event listener that I added was an event listener for the stage, which is on enter, and I'm going to name that function loop. We needed two variables. One variable is called is still, which is a Boolean, and I set it to true. And also I created a var, a variable called array tween, which is going to have all the tweens inside of it. So the first function that we're going to look at is the onFlip function. The onFlip function is pretty straightforward. We have a function, and inside of it, we check if the is still is true or not. And since it's true, it will activate. And what happens is the array tween is pushed with a new item. And that new item is a new tween. So new tween. And within the tween, we have a, a lot of parameters. And let's go over each of them. The first parameter is con, which is the container. And we want to access a property, which is the rotation y. We want to add a strong ease out right here. The next is we want to figure out what point do we start from and that point is the rotation Y, the current rotation Y of, of the container. Next we want to look, we want to add 180 to the current rotation Y. The next is a number which represents the seconds and we want this to animate for one second and the true says that we are using seconds and not frames. Alright, let's look at the next item. The next item is array tween braces zero, which we're going to add an event listener, and the event listener sees if the motion is finished. And once it's finished, we're going to call the reset function. After all of this, we set the is still to false. So once the motion is complete, we go to function reset, and this function reset changes is still back to true, and also the array tween is set to nothing. So the array is cleared out of any tweens. The last function that we're going to create is that loop function that we added to the stage, the event listener. And the first line checks to see if the rotation is, if the container rotation is greater than or equal to 90 and if it is less than or equal to 270, which if you c drew a line from the degree 90 to 270, you'd see that you have half of a circle and we're just checking to see which half the side is on. So if it's on this side, the container add child will bring the side A, which is container dot side excuse me, container dot side B to the front. And also it will flip the scale because if you just rotate it, it will have that mirrored effect. It'll be the wrong direction. So we change the scale to negative one. If anything else we do the opposite by adding side A and we change the x scale to a different direction. All of this is great, but we have to make sure that the y rotation, or the rotation y, doesn't go beyond 360. Since we keep on adding 180, it just keeps on adding up. So if it gets past 360, or if it is at 360, the rotation y will be set back to zero. So let's try it out. As you saw how simple it was to create this amazing animation and I don't really have it I don't have any content in here you can put dynamic content if you'd like if you're watching my if you watch my other tutorials you can add some sort of dynamic text that brings in uh, XML feed or just a number of things so the possibilities are endless this is just a great effect to add on to whatever you're doing so thanks for watching another on enter flash tutorial if you like these tutorials remember rate subscribe comment uh, go to my website where you can download the FLA and just copy and paste the code and uh, if you really want to help out click on an attitude put a few pennies in my pocket God will bless you thanks for watching